Hello everybody, welcome to another Legends of Destiny, Agent of the Nine. My name is Chris, aka Big C, and we are here to check out what Zer has in his inventory this week in Destiny. Uh, his Zer is over by the speaker, over in this little corner over here, so let's see what he has. This is the Nine. Okay, ooh, good stuff this week. So, for starters, he's got no backup plans. It is a Titan Gauntlet. Uh, this has been very popular... Uh, for people running Universal Remote with Striker Titans. Shotgun kills, trigger Force Barrier, and Force Barrier's duration is increased. So, it makes you very difficult to kill if you're using a shotgun. It's only strength, so not the greatest roll. But, uh... These have been very popular as of late due to Universal Remote's resurgence as a primary. So, if you're looking for a good way to be very, very difficult to kill as a Striker Titan with a shotgun, this is one way to do it. For the Hunter, he's got the Graviton Forfeit. It basically gives you Shade Step, so you can use that node for something else. Um, for that, so that's pretty cool. Uh, decent Intellect Strength roll. Not any, like, yeah, it's a decent intellect strength roll. Uh, bonus melee energy and super energy from non-guardian kills, so pretty solid. For the Warlock, he's got the Apothesis Veil. Um, immediate health regeneration, melee, and grenade regeneration upon activating your super. I can see this being especially useful for a, uh, Voidwalker or, um, even a Stormcaller. That could be useful, um, although each of those have other good exotics. So, this is a good all-around exotic, but honestly, I think it's less... It's it's not, like, a top-tier exotic, because I think there are better ones for each subclass for the Warlock. Um, but it's a solid one, and it's a good intellect strength roll as well. Weapons! One of my favorite Year 2 weapons, the Zalo Supercell. It's an auto-rifle. Uh, it gives you arc projectiles, have a chance to chain lightning when enemies are close together. Um, double kills with the weapon charge a small amount of super energy, and then it also has persistence. Um, if you do not have the Zello Supercell, it is an awesome gun. One of my favorites, and especially anytime the Nightfall is arc burn, this gun is incredible. So, do yourself a favor if you do not own this weapon. Please pick it up. It's probably my favorite year two only exotic weapon. So it's a really, really good gun. Uh, he's got legacy engrams for primaries. So hey, if you want to pick up Thorn, um, this is one way to get that. Uh, so just buy those legacy engrams. Um, so yeah. And then of course he's got the usual plasma drive, emerald coil, Heavy MSN, three of coins, and glass needles. So I'm gonna buy one thing of three of coins. I don't. I still have a good amount of them, but you know, happiness. might as well. And that is gonna do it for Legends of Destiny: Agent of the Nine. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to hit that subscribe button on YouTube as well as check us out on Twitch, where I'll be doing plenty more Destiny streaming as well as other video game streaming, um, including No Man's Sky, which comes out next week. I'll be streaming that throughout the course of next week, so pretty exciting stuff. Anyway, thank you for watching Legends of Destiny, Agents of the Nine, and I will see you next week.